How's it going, backpackers and ultralighters? Dave here with Off Grid. I'm at the backpacking, hiking, camping, and gear. Thanks so much for dropping by, and I have finally done it, guys. I have created the most absolutely perfect ultralight system for me <laughs> and for the 2024 edition. You might be thinking to yourself, well, wait a minute. Uh, haven't you created a UL loadout before? Yes, I have. You can check that out right up here. But um, this is my revised version. I've combed through every single piece of gear, shaved off ounces here and there and everywhere so that I can bring to you a system that I think is a pretty friggin' awesome and um, something that you could really enjoy. The other thing that I wanna do here is to spin back up the hashtag challenge. Seems like they've gone extinct in the YouTube sphere um, over the past year and a half or so, but I wanna kick it back up. I'm gonna tag a bunch of different YouTubers here at the end because it's just great to find um, everybody's thoughts on one collective topic in one very nifty and neat hashtag. And what better one to kick this one off than to talk about our ultra lightweight loadout kits. So really excited to get that one going, but let's just dive into the list today here. There's gonna be a lot of copies from that old list. However, a lot of new stuff as well. I'm not going to get into the specifics because I wanna rifle through this stuff as quickly as possible. So down below, I have a Pack Wizard link and that's gonna give you everything that you need to know outside of, I think, just the price points that I don't have in there or like links to where you can find them. But um, if you're aware of this gear, then you'll, you'll pretty much know what I'm talking about here. And if you've been looking into that description box, you've seen me working on this one for a little bit of time now so it, it's been there you could have found it uh, before but um, it's in every single uh, one of my videos that I post so definitely check out that link below so I'm not going to talk much about the gear I'm literally just going to rifle through it here and then I'm also planning on doing a podcast here with my co-hosts I'm going to try to grab a couple of co-hosts for this one probably my regular guys Huck and Snackbox so that we can do a deeper dive and talk a little bit more about the specifics of this gear um, in that podcast. So I'm hoping to do that in the near future for you here on the channel and on that Gearholics podcast. But let's just rifle through my list here and I defy any of the other YouTubers as well as anybody else watching to beat this as far as uh, comfort goes. Now, obviously, um, this, is, this is not going to be the uh, most inexpensive stuff that you can find, but almost all of the most expensive stuff that I found here, I got on pretty steep discounts. So let's get into the stuff here um, for my uh, big four, starting off with the backpack here. I'm gonna go with my tried and true, and I almost knocked over my soda over here, the Z-Packs Nero 38 liter DCF and kind of showing you some other stuff uh, that's on it here. I've got down below here, um, I'm gonna attach the one inch webbing hip belt. I decided to go with two of the padded hip belts. Now this is not a traditional hip belt and you can't um, have the shifting of the weight from your shoulders to your hips there, but I added those two. Um, I also added a couple of shoulder pockets here. This one is just uh, for like, you know, a, a regular pouch with a mesh pocket up front. And then I also have the water bottle pocket over here. And then outside of that for the backpack, I added a Volcluse uh, Ultralight. This is the version two frame. I'm also not going to get into what I'm going to be wearing on my person. I'm gonna focus mostly on just um, the base weight in this video, but again, check out the link um, for my pack wizard to see what I have for the, the clothes that I'd be wearing. Um, let's get into what I call some of the optional or seasonal items here. Now again, all this stuff is going to be for a warmer weather loadout. Usually ultra light kits are. So for your rain protection here, I went with just a, uh, an emergency poncho here. Um, nothing super crazy. Um, you can get these for like a dollar, $1, dollar fifty. Um, I decided not to go with a more permanent version because um, A, they're heavier and B, you know, if you are living in a place that has a lot of rain, you definitely want to consider it, but I don't, so I don't carry something like that. And then for the smaller river crossings, like creek crossings, as well as if you're going to be hiking in the rain, I'm also recommending the Randy Sun UL Crew Cut Socks. So you got to think this is sort of like the seal skin variety, but this is a uh, more budget friendly option. 
Let's get into the main compartment now and um, for the other stuff of the big four here. First of which is going to be the pillow. I'm gonna go with the Thermarest small compressible pillow. For my quilt, I'm gonna go with the Enlightened Equipment Apex Revelation. This is a synthetic quilt and that's their 50 degree version. And then um, here is a luxury for you. We got quite a few luxuries in this one, but the first luxury is going to be the Ridgeline Organizer, or I call it a Ridgeline line organizer that's what they call a hammock but um, it's called the top shelf by gossamer gear so you can figure out a way to throw that up into your tent which i have as the z-packs plex solo hunt around for the deals on that one you can definitely find a good deal on that super lightweight tent for my sleeping pad here and um, i have it somewhere hold on hold on one second Ah, all right, so I did a first look recently on the channel on this one, but this is the XPED 1R Ultra long and wide in the mummy cut, and 1R denotes the 1R value on this, so definitely a summer pad. So I'm gonna use that for my pad. And then going along with that, I gotta bring it back out here, is this piece, here's the pad, and then we've got this right here. This is called the Schnozzle pump sack, or they, they call it the schnozzle. But the really cool thing about that is that that is also going to double as my pack liner. So this this uh, pump sack is actually really huge, can act as a compression sack, and it's uh, coated so that it is waterproof. So instead of going with a pack liner, I'm gonna use that as my pack liner. So a little bit of double duty there. I will talk for a hot second about my clothes. Um, only a few, and this is going to be part of that base weight as like packed clothes. I have an extra pair of Injinji socks. I have an extra pair of ex officio undies or any kind of synthetic undies of your choice. And then I also have uh, my mid layer as the Senchi Ren here. So getting you down in a, into a little bit colder temperatures there. All right, let's get into the stove kit right now. I'm gonna go with the Tokes 650 milliliter pot. And this isn't the version here, but I'm gonna say two of the mini Bic lighters. This is the wand lighter, but two of the mini Bics. And then a small thing of hot lips here so that you can drink out of your pot. And then I'm going to go with the X boil system here. Um, now this is their standard version, but I'm going to recommend their ultra light version, but it's basically the same thing. They have a stand here with some feet in it and then, you know, bringing your alcohol fuel. The reason why I decided to go with an alcohol stove system is because you have to also count the uh, weight of the can. So a gas can weighs a little bit more than the alcohol stove does here. The next thing I pack is a uh, small microfiber towel so that you can kind of wrap the loose ends up and then use that uh, to kind of like mop stuff up and use that as your napkin. And then I just have a small rubber band that keeps the, uh, the top of tokes here, uh, the lid closed. Now let's dive into what is already on the table here, the food bag, first of which, uh, tall flat bottom from Hilltop Packs DCF version. We got the Tokes Titanium Long Handle Spoon with the Polish Bowl. You've got your Scoopy to transfer your powders into your bottles. We've got this a tiny toothbrush from Garage Grown Gear, and I also plan on using the toothpaste tabs. The only thing that I have in the bath section is going to be, I'm gonna divide these up into uh, two sections of five here, and these are the small compressible towels. I'm gonna to put five in the bath section for kind of like a wipey shower, and then the other five is gonna go into the poop kit, and I'll talk about that in a hot second. And the last thing that I'm gonna put in my food bag here is going to be my bear cord to hang up the bear bag at night. Next thing we're gonna talk about here is going to be the electronics organizer. I'm gonna put my car key in there, my ID, maybe a little bit of cash. The next thing is going to be a small roll of tenacious tape. I also pack some earplugs. Um, and then the bag that I put it in is just a Ziploc bag. That's all the bags that I end up storing stuff in for the most part, except for the food bag. And then a small charging cable by InCharge that is super light. And the last thing here is a 10,000 milliamp power bank. All right, over to the outer compartment now of my pack. We've got a small Swedish chamois, my modified MedKit 0.5. And then for my water filtration, I've got the Knock Vecto bag along with a Sawyer Mini with the back plunger. Really important to keep that clean. We've also got the Rology cork ball along with your pee bag, of course. And then I also have a small thing of monkey bug, kind of like anti-chafing powder in there. 
And that'll do it for that area. Over to my poop kit now. Not a lot in here. We've got the uh, Vargo Dig Dig knockoff, as well as, you can't really see it in there, but a couple more of those compressible towels. So the other five of those compressible towels for obvious purposes. And then into my hip belt pockets. We've got a small bug head net. I'm also gonna store some bug wipes in here as well as uh, a small thing of sunscreen. And the last thing here is a new addition. This is the Rovivon flashlight. Moving right along to the shoulder pockets. In one of those pockets, I carry my phone. Yes, I'm putting this on the list and it's an estimate here, but I have a uh, Pixel phone. I'm also going to store my hand sanitizer here, and I'm primarily going to recommend either Dr. Bronner's Liquid Castile Soap or the Pika Soap, but if you are in an area where you're a little bit tighter on water, then I'd recommend the standard Purell or liquid hand sanitizer. I'm also gonna throw in five tissues total. So think of the travel pack of tissues, but just cut them in half. And then I'm also gonna put a small thing of a Joshua Tree lip balm sold by Gossamer Gear. Over to the shoulder straps now, or basically the stuff that's hanging off the shoulder straps. I have um, a small face towel here by REI, kind of just to wipe the sweat off. And for the satellite device here, I was kind of torn on this one, but I decided to not opt for the Garmin inReach and instead recommend the Motorola Defy. I don't own this piece, but I've heard some really great things about it, so I think it's a great option. For I have it listed as a back panel, but you don't really need it because I have uh, the Volcluse, but I'm also going to pack the Outdoor Vitals foam pad here. This is primarily for sitting on and also adding a little bit of R value underneath your pad. And to round out the side pockets here, I have one smart water uh, bottle in the one liter size and then another one in just about the half liter size, both with a sport cap on top. And this is considered pack weight, but I'll throw it in here anyway. This is Z-Packs carbon fiber trekking poles. I'm also gonna mention here, and you might not be able to see it, but this little magnet here is called stick stashers. It goes onto the end of your trekking pole so that you can easily stash your poles when you don't need them on trail. And then the last two pieces here, um, which one is gonna be safety, and I'm gonna mention a big thing of a bear spray. You wanna make sure that you can protect yourself out there. And then the ultimate piece, ultimate luxury, ultimate comfort here is going to be the REI Flex Light Air Chair, full featured backing of a chair, pretty awesome. So that's gonna round it out, that's gonna do it. I actually see this list going a little bit lighter in the near future with some advancements in tech that I already know of but I have not hit the market quite yet. That's gonna do it for me on this one here. I'm gonna tag all the channels down below. Make sure you check out their channels, especially if they're joining in. No pressure, guys, if you don't wanna do it, you don't have to, but I just thought that it would be a great thing to launch off yet another hashtag challenge. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on this one, guys. Check out my Pack Wizard link. And remember, if you're headed off grade, make sure you do your research and you make it a safe one. And I'll see you on the next one. Here's the Z-Pack Solo. Man, these gear loadout videos sure take a lot out of you.